When I got into the cable industry, it was a heavily regulated industry, principally by the government, in order to so-called protect free over-the-air television. So cable uh, was very regulated. Uh, and it was very limited in certain areas of the country, uh, mainly as a means of retransmitting broadcast signals. It was not the cable that we know today with multiplicity of channels and video on demand and, and voice and, and data information over cable. It was mainly a, a uh, technological system for transmitting signals uh, using wire as a substitute for an antenna in places where you couldn't get a clear signal, either mountainous areas because the TV signal travels in a straight line, there's a mountain in the way it, gets, it, it doesn't go over. And so cable was erected, an antenna on top of a mountain, wire ran down the mountain into people's homes, and that was what it was called at that time, CATV, Community Antenna Television. So that's what cable was. And then some extent in the big cities, same problem. Uh, tall buildings blocked the signals, so cable was installed in buildings in big cities like New York early on, because that's the only way you can get the broadcast signals. So it was really in its infancy and mainly as a, a technology to retransmit broadcast signals. At that time, what were the, the major, you, you mentioned Showtime and HBO, were there any other um, major cable networks at that time? Um, no, because at that time mainly uh, the programming was uh, the biggest thing that you could offer was free movies because uh, they had rules that prevented cable programming channels from buying syndicated shows. You couldn't buy regular uh, off-network TV shows, so you couldn't create a cable channel. And that was before the creation of targeted channels like MTV and others. They, they sort of came later after uh, some of these victories involving the deregulation of pay TV and change in the rules allowing syndicated programming. The first big one was TBS, which was a broadcast station, but had been carried by satellite to cable companies uh, as a way of getting around the rules. But later on, as some of the rules were changed, then other channels would develop that would show syndicated off-network programming, and then channels that were totally niche-targeted, like BET and MTV came along later. And, uh, but uh, early on, it was mainly uh, Cable was successful depending on getting access to uh, pay TV.